What's up, Eagles fans? Welcome inside the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look at the Eagles' second-round pick, Landon Dickerson from Alabama. This guy is a lot of fun to watch, and we're going to have a lot of fun breaking down his film. We're going to start with a pass protection clip. Now, a lot of people think of pass protection as a passive play, right? You're moving in reverse. You're trying to stop the defensive line from getting after the quarterback. Pass pro, not passive for Landon Dickerson. This guy is always on the offensive, and this is a great example of exactly that. You've got a mugged linebacker right up on top of him here on this play. So right off the bat, Landon Dickerson at the snap of the ball, he's going to have to worry about that. So you see he's got eyes on that linebacker. He sees that the, he's, that's not going to be a problem, this linebacker dropping out into coverage. He's going to peek over at this other backer, make sure that he's not a threat. Once he sees, all right, these backers aren't coming, it's just a four-man rush, well, now I'm going to help, I'm going to help my offensive lineman. I'm going to be looking for work. Auburn, their, their rival, right? This is the Iron Bowl. They're going to be running a little bit of a stunt here. So you got the defensive tackle looping outside. You've got a defensive end looping inside. It's not going to end well for this defensive end, number 29, as Landon Dickerson. He's got his eyes set on him, and he just cleans him up. And you just see this all the time from Landon Dickerson. Uh, if you are moving, he is going to go after you. And you see the finish there from Dickerson here as an incomplete pass down the field. But that, that is Landon Dickerson in a nutshell. It's one of my favorite plays that I tagged of him as I was studying him over the course of his career. Here's another pass pro play. And this just gets a sense of his overall, understand, his football IQ and his no, feeling for protection and pressure schemes because pre-snap and again here's Alabama here's the offensive line it's going to be a six-man protection so you've got your five offensive linemen and you've got your running back now they're not showing necessarily a pressure front here this is Mississippi State they're not showing a pressure front but you've got these two stack backers and what they're actually going to do is run a cross dog blitz a blitz a little crossfire pressure here from the defense now Landon Dickerson opens up and he's looking to his left. He's going to it's zone pass blocking this way, and it's man-to-man -man here. So you've got Landon Dickerson. He's going to open up eyes. He's going to have his eyes on this linebacker to start. But, again, it's a cross-dog pressure. So this linebacker is going into this gap. This linebacker is going into this gap. He has a full understanding. Hey, if I sell too hard on this player, my running back and I are going to get crossed up in terms of protection. Watch how well. These two, the back and the center, handle these two linebackers. They do a great job of passing these guys off, giving the quarterback, Mac Jones, a nice pocket, and he's able to deliver this throw down the football field. Oh, there goes uh, Devontae Smith for a big play and a touchdown. That starts with the protection from Landon Dickerson. So you love what Dickerson did here in, in terms of passing off the cross dog with the backer. That allows Mac Jones to deliver this throw Downfield, Devontae Smith, touchdown, Alabama. That was a, a very common saying down there in Tuscaloosa over the last couple of years. Take a look now in the run game, and here's Landon Dickerson. This is where he made his hay. This is where you really got to see his ability to win at the point of attack. This is not going to be one of those mauling plays, though, because he's, he is lined up one-on-one -on -one against the mammoth defensive tackle from Kentucky, Quentin Bohanna. He ended up being drafted uh, late in this 2021 NFL draft. And all he's going to do... He's just got to cut him off from the backside. But this is big on big, and you're going to see his ability to just seal him from the backside, create that seal for the back. Najee Harris, Harris is able to put his foot in the ground, get downhill, and he's able to run off for a big play and a touchdown. That's created by that seal from Landon Dickerson. But instead of just watching the back, just watch Landon Dickerson on this entire play. Again, going up against a 350-pound nose tackle, seals him off, and then just watch the excitement here. He's chasing Najee Harris. He's trying to be the first one down to celebrate with him in the end zone. That's Landon Dickerson again. You kind of get a sense of the player that he is. He is fun and jovial off the field, and he is trying to come after you on the field. And here's a good example. Again, one-on-one -on -one with a nose tackle. He saw this a lot in the SEC. And just watch him win off the ball. Low man wins. He wins a great job here with leverage. You can see that he's got the low man off the ball. Gets a little bit of help from the double team, but then watch the finish. He's got the defensive tackle on skates. After a little bump from the double, he get, can't get his cleats back in the ground, he finishes. He's always trying to get his guy on the ground. That is a Landon Dickerson staple. Here's another one, this time against Georgia. Great defensive front here for the Bulldogs the last couple of years. Watch Dickerson this time work up to the second level. That's a draft pick there in Monty Rice in the middle of that Georgia defense. Went late day two, gets up to the second level, helps spring Najee Harris for a big run. This is something you get from Landon Dickerson. It's not just about working against the nose tackles or the three techniques. He will get up to the second level and do some work against linebackers in the zone run game. And that's one of the beautiful things uh, about that Alabama offense as well. 
you saw a wide variety of run schemes, gap schemes, you know, power and counter and trap, but then also inside zone, outside zone, mid zone, all the different run schemes that NFL teams are going to run. No matter what team you rooted for, you see, oh yeah, this guy can fit into our offense because Landon Dickerson was the anchor in the middle of that line and they did all different kinds of things. Here's another example. He saw a lot of reps against nose tackles, which you don't really see too often here uh, for college centers. But watch how quickly, look at the play speed for a 330 pound center, gets out of his stance and gets up to the second level. Gets past the backer. He's, going to, he's trying to block this backside linebacker, get that pursuit so that Najee Harris is able to get upfield. You just see the athleticism, the ability to seal off that backside. That's great stuff there from a big man in Landon Dickerson. Really, really good example of his mobility there and his range in protection. Here's another good example. Now against a nose tackle. This is going to be a run to the offensive left. He has got to scoop that nose tackle. He's got to get to the front side, and he does a great job working in tandem with the left guard there and Deontay Brown. Brown's got the outside shoulder of the defensive tackle. He's got the inside shoulder on first strike, but he has got to get across that guard's face and block him, create that seal, and that allows Brown to now get up to the linebacker, right? This is called surfacing a block. He does a great job, those two, both guys, do a great job of working the defensive tackle, and now look at where Dickerson is. He has now created that seal, and watch the back. He's now able to work off Dickerson. There goes Brown to the second level. You've got a hat on a hat here outside. Outstanding job from Dickerson. He even gets his guy on the ground for a good measure, and that's uh, something you typically saw from him uh, on film. Outstanding job there from Landon Dickerson. Let's take another look here in pass pro. Here he is against a nose tackle from Ole Miss. Here's the nose tackle. Dickerson snaps the ball, gets off the ball. Really strong, heavy punch here. You can see the defensive tackle feels that. Right? Look, watch his helmet. You can just see the shock on impact here. Dickerson strikes him right in the chest, right in the shoulder. And you can just see how heavy his hands are on, to, on contact. Really heavy punch there. This is the ball downfield. Nice job there from Landon Dickerson in pass pro. Let's get another example here. Pistol set. Just look at the power here. Here's Dickerson. He's going to snap this ball. Just watch the shock on contact against the three technique. Where does contact start? Where does the defender end? You can just see that power, that pop on contact. Really nice job working one-on-one -on -one with the guard. He's still helping to block the backside defensive end. Najee Harris working out the back door, going to the front side. Here we go against Tennessee. Same thing, Dickerson at center. Let's watch him on this play. See a really well-rounded player. Again, another athletic play here, another block where he's going to have to reach. He's got to get front side of that nose tackle. This is a tough block for a center, much less a heavy one at 330 pounds. He does a nice job of working with the young guard. This is a true sophomore guard that he's working with. Young player, first-year starter. And he does a nice job creating that seal, right? You see that athleticism. That, that, that's a consistent factor. I think it's a little bit underplayed, his movement skills, uh, his ability to execute any block in the playbook. Landon Dixon has got that ability. We saw the football IQ. We saw the toughness, pass pro, run game. Whole thing. And I think Landon Dickerson, just so much fun. Obviously, he falls to the second round uh, due to the injury. But this is a very, very talented player. Great film over the course of his career, both at Alabama and at Florida State. Can't wait to see how he fits in here with this offensive line. He's going to be a huge part of this offense for a long, long time here in Philadelphia. Thanks for joining us here inside the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group. I'm Fran Duffy. Stay tuned. We're going to keep breaking down all these rookies in this draft class right here inside the film room.